Today, I'm gonna to show you a very useful UI debugging tool in Xcode called the Visual Debugger. As you can see on the screen, it basically takes a snapshot of your app wherever it's at, blows out the view so you can kind of inspect it and you know really dig in to see what's going on. So that's the big picture. Now let me show you how to actually use it. And the first key thing is your project has to be running either on the simulator uh, or on a device. So mine is currently running just to show you the intro, but if you, let me stop it here. And okay, we're just back in a code like normal. And if I run it again, so if you have a project, go ahead and run it in your simulator, whatever. This is my existing project, my GitHub followers app. This is a course I have uh, all about the take home project example. We built it all programmatic UI, all that good stuff. So if you're interested in that, after you see this app in action, uh, check out the link in the description or go to seanallen.teachable.com. All right, my pitch is over. All right, so the way this app works is you enter a GitHub username. I'm going to enter mine. You can enter yours. You can enter whichever one you want. And it's going to get the followers of the uh, that person. So now I'm going to click on one, Vex it all, and it pulls up their information. Okay, so uh, the reason I wanted to get here is because, you know, this makes the, the screen more interesting when we use the visual debugger. And something to notice, right, this is a modal that slides up over my collection view, and you'll see that in the visual debugger. Okay, so how do we even get to that visual debugger? Well, down here on this bar here, I'll put an arrow to it. You see this little icon? I don't even know how to describe it, a group of rectangles, maybe, I don't know. You click on that, uh, it'll take a second, I'm gonna minimize my bottom pane here. Uh, it'll take a second depending on how powerful your computer is, how complex your UI is, etc. But you see we get a 2D like representation of it. But just like any like 3D rendering, if you just click anywhere, drag and spin around, you know, here you can kind of like manipulate it so you can see. And then let's talk about some basic controls before we dive into like, you know, what you can do here. So on the lower left here, I'll move my face. Uh, you can see the slider where you can, you know, expand and attract, and that'll help you like maybe really dive into a certain point of the view that you want. Uh, on the lower right here, we can start taking away some of the top views, right? Because if you have a lot of views, you can see it can be kind of cluttered. So if we drag from the right here, you see I can start taking away views from the top. And then if I drag from the left, I can start taking away views like from the bottom, if I really need to like zero in on a specific view. And then of course, down here in the middle, you have some more controls. We'll just talk about the zoom in uh, and zoom out, right? So we'll zoom in a little bit and then I can like pan down and scroll around. So. A first uh, nice thing about this visual debugger is one, you can make sure your UI is being like structured correctly, but two, if you're not familiar with like kind of how this stuff kind of works, it's a good way to learn, right? Cause you're kind of breaking it out and dissecting it. For example, the way this app is uh, set up, we have a tab bar controller and then it holds a couple views. So you see, here's my, you know, tab bar controller. That tab bar controller holds a UI navigation controller, which holds my follower list view controller, which is again is the uh, collection view of all, all my followers. And then you can see here that this modal, I'll zoom out a little bit here, uh, this modal that pops up, remember I talked about that, well, that modal is a navigation controller that holds my user info VC, that holds, you know, all these other like views in here. So again, you can really dissect how the view is constructed and what's going on. So now let's talk about some other information you can get here. Let's use um, this, uh, I'll zoom out a little bit here. Again, it can get kind of cluttered. That's why sometimes you may want to get rid of some views or not, but we'll click on this avatar uh, image and we'll pull out our right pane, click on that in Xcode 12. And here, no matter what view you click on, you're going to get a ton of information about it, right? You can see the content mode, scale to fill. Again, the whole point of this is you're trying to dissect what's going on with your UI if it's not behaving correctly. So you can be like, oh, what, you know, my picture's looking good, but if it was messed up, I can be like, oh, what's my content mode? Scale to fill, okay, that's right. User interaction is enabled is off. Maybe, you know, I want that on for some reason. You can see is hidden is off. You can see all the properties of that view. You can look at the accessibility. No accessibility here, need to work on that. But anyway, the point is you can get a ton of information about what's actually going on with this view because if it wasn't behaving correctly, maybe this will help you diagnose why. Another layout issue, if you click on the size inspector here, uh, you can hover over here and see the constraints that are on this particular avatar image. And if I, I look and see I'm hovering it, you can see the constraint actually on the image uh, as, as well, right? Height, width. So again, you can double check uh, your layout. And if you think your layout's a little messed up and you wanna go like inspect this, well, I don't wanna inspect just my avatar image view because that's just the, the image view. Uh, I kinda gotta scroll move it around. And this is a, a good way. I'm trying to get to this user info header VC that you see there. So this is a good time to like maybe take off some of the top views, right? Now you can see my GF user info header VC. So here's why I want to click on that view controller, because if I go to the uh, object inspector, this, you know, rectangle group up here, now you'll see this really tiny arrow to the right of the class name. I'll put an arrow to it because it's probably hard to see on the video. But if you click on that, 
that takes you directly to the code for the GF user info header VC. And then I can, I'm gonna make this text a little smaller. So, um, you know, it, it, it looks nicer, <laughs> but uh, now you can see what's going on on this GF user uh, header v VC. And you can see how I'm laying out the UI. Here's my avatar image view, like, you know, constraints. Okay, cool. And if there was a mistake here, you could see exactly where it was and you were able to get to the code right from the visual debugger. In next code 12, you see we have these tabs on the top, right? I can click right back to the tab for my visual debugger and I'm right back in it. And then you'll also see on this left pane here, kind of the, the outline view of your, basically this visual representation on the right, uh, you can kind of see all you know laid out right here. So like, let's see if I, if I right click on this avatar image view and I say reveal and debug navigator, bam, it takes me to it in this kind of outline view. This is basically just a, a representation of this visual uh, thing right here. And you also get it across the top uh, as you can see up there. But yeah, that is the visual debugger. Let's make this small so you can see that. Hopefully this uh, helps solve your UI issues. Uh, I, I can't tell you how many times my UI has been behaving correctly. Maybe there's a view on top of another view or maybe my constraints aren't laid out right. And you know, going to here and kind of dissecting this is very likely to like point me in the right direction to where my problem is so I can solve it. So anyway, hopefully this helps your future UI bugs. And if you like my teaching style, my presentation style, I started creating my own courses, you know, featuring this app that you saw uh, here. You can check Check it out at the URL on the screen and link will be in the description. See you in the next video.